Hello, this is Venn diagram lesson three. In this, I will discuss basics of three variable Venn diagram. Now, three variables are tea, coffee, and milk. A survey was conducted by some organization about the people for their choices of drink. Either they like tea, or they like coffee, or they like milk, or they like two or three of them. So, total total number of respondent will be represented within the rectangle. Now. There are few questions that will I I will ask in this slide that will make the concept clear. So first of all, how many people like only tea? When I say only tea, it means that I need to consider the people who consume only one drink that is tea. They don't consume milk. They don't don't consume or like coffee. So A is the number of people who like only tea. You can say that this A. A is the number of people. Who like only tea? What about only coffee? Only coffee would be B. B will be the number of people who like only coffee, because B is the number of people who are only in the coffee region. Where you can see that D, this D, D also consume tea also. G consume all the three drinks. So when I say only coffee, it means B. Only milk, it means C. Exactly one drink. Exactly one drink means that those people who consume only one drink, either tea or coffee or milk. So answer would be A plus B plus C. Exactly one drink means only tea, only coffee, and only milk. We have to count all those people. Tea and coffee. It's very important. When I say tea and coffee, it means that the common part in the circle of tea and coffee, and that would be D plus G. This complete part would be tea and coffee. Now, sixth point and fifth point very important to differentiate between these two. Only tea and coffee, you can say that, or you can say that tea and coffee only. They are same thing. Whether you say only tea and coffee or you say that tea and coffee only, same thing. It actually means that tea and coffee, but not milk. That is the meaning of, but not milk. That is the meaning of only tea and coffee. It means that exactly two drinks, tea and coffee, but milk should not be there. That is the meaning of only tea and coffee, and its value will be D because this is the part, this red part I am making. That means that only tea and coffee. G will be the number of people who also consume milk apart from tea and coffee. So we won't include. G. So answer would be only D. Only tea and coffee. It would be D. And there is a difference. Very important. Uh, tea and coffee. When I say it means D plus G. There is no restriction on the people who consume the milk. Also, they can also include it in the tea and coffee. Tea and coffee simply means that this complete uh, making the green circle. When I say tea and coffee, this means this part. This complete part that I'm making green. That is the meaning of tea and coffee. It will include G. But when I say only tea and coffee, G will be excluded because G are the number of people who also drink milk. So only tea and coffee means that exactly two drink tea and coffee and milk should not be there. So its value would be D for Delhi. Next is coffee and milk. When I say coffee and milk, it means that this part. This I'm making red. This is the part which is which is coffee and milk. So it will be G plus F. When I say coffee, only coffee and milk, it means that G will not be included because G also consumes the tea. So that means F. Very important. The difference between these two. Only coffee and milk will be F. That I'm making a green part. This is the only this green portion. This is the only coffee and milk. F. G also consume tea, but when I say coffee and milk, it means that the complete G plus F will be there. Exactly two drinks. It means that it would be how much? Exactly two drinks. It would be your D. D are the number of people who consumes only tea and coffee. That is exactly two drink. E. There are there are people who consume only tea and milk, and F 
दी आर द पीपल हू कंज्यूम ओनली कॉफी एंड मिल्क सो वैन आई से एग्जैक्टली टू ड्रिंक्स इट विल बी डी प्लस ई प्लस एफ ऑल द थ्री ड्रिंक्स जी बिकॉज जी आर द नंबर ऑफ पीपल हू कंज्यूम टी एज वेल एज कॉफी एज वेल एज मिल्क वैन आई से टी और कॉफी इट सिंपली मीन्स दैट टी यूनियन कॉफी यूनियन मीन्स यू हैव टू इंक्लूड ऑल द एलिमेंट्स इन बोथ द सर्कल ऑफ टी एंड कॉफी अगेन आई एम सेंग यू हैव टू इंक्लूड ऑल द एलिमेंट्स दैट आर देयर इन द सर्कल ऑफ टी एंड कॉफी सो इट विल बी ए प्लस डी प्लस जी प्लस ई प्लस बी प्लस एफ दैट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ टी और कॉफी ऑल द पीपल दैट आर देयर इन द T as well as coffee circle will be counted, A E D G, B and F. But there is a difference between when I say tea and or coffee, but not milk. So it means that we have to exclude that whatever comes in the milk. We have to exclude whatever comes in the milk. Now you can see that in this tea or coffee, you can see that what will come. Milk should not be there. So A will come. i'm just writing this again a d g e b and f that was t or milk but i don't want t or coffee that was this is this is t or coffee but i don't want milk so everything whatever there is whatever is there in the milk that will be excluded because we don't want the people who want who consume milk so what will be excluded e will not be there because e also come in the milk circle g will also be not there because g also come in the milk circle f will also be not there because f also comes in the milk milk circle so only it will be a plus d plus b it will be a plus d plus b that will be tea or coffee but not milk next is tea or milk when i say tea or milk it simply means that T union milk, whatever is there in the circle of T as well as milk that will be included. So can I say this will be equals to A plus D plus G plus E plus F plus C. Whatever there is there, whatever is there in the T and milk circle that will be included. A D E G F and C. next is tea or milk but not coffee so first we have to calculate tea or milk that we have calculated but we will exclude the part of coffee so it would be how much tea or milk but not coffee so a d g e f and c that was tea or milk out of this we don't want the coffee so it will be a plus e plus c because d g and f that are there in the coffee circle that will be excluded so it will be only a e and c 15th is none of the drink we have to count the number of people who would consume none of the drink and that will be h because h lies outside all the three circles at least one drink at least one drink means minimum one drink it could be two or three maximum so at least one drink means the, we have to first count the number of person who count who drink exactly one drink that is a plus b plus c we are counting at least one at least one miss first we will count exactly one those who drink exactly one then there are people who consumes two drinks that is d e and f they are exactly two and then there are exactly 3 that is g so it, at least one means one drink plus two drink plus three drinks so all the values that are there in all the three circle will be counted what is the meaning of tea or coffee or milk is the same because when i say tea or coffee or milk it means that tea union coffee union milk and what is the meaning of union count all the values that are there in the circles all the values that are there in the circle and that will be also equals to a plus b plus c d plus e plus f and g so very very important at least one drink and your tea or coffee or milk is the same thing they are same 
इधर यू कैन से एट लीस्ट वन ड्रिंक और यू कैन से टी और कॉफी और मिल्क यू और मिल्क और मीन्स यूनियन इट मीन्स दैट ऑल द वैल्यूज दैट आर देर इन ऑल द थ्री सर्कल यू हैव टू काउंट वंस एवरी वैल्यू एंड इट विल इट विल बी इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी प्लस सी डी प्लस सी प्लस एफ प्लस जी नेक्स्ट इज एट लीस्ट टू ड्रिंक्स एट लीस्ट मीन्स मिनिमम टू ड्रिंक और इट कुड बी मोर देन टू ड्रिंक सो वेन से एट लीस्ट टू ड्रिंक इट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू टू ड्रिंक्स दोज वू कंज्यूम्स टू और मोर देन टू ड्रिंक्स सो फर्स्ट वी विल काउंट दोज वू कंज्यूम द टू ड्रिंक्स दैट इज डी प्लस E plus F. These are the people who consume exactly two drinks plus more than two. It means three drinks. That is G. They are the people who consume three drinks. So answer will be D plus E plus F plus G. At most two drinks simply means that maximum there should be two drinks. So we have to count all those people who consume less than or equals to two drinks. So when I say that, first we will count the two drinks. That is D plus E plus F. these are the people who consume exactly two drinks now i will count the one drink that is a plus b plus c these are the people who consume exactly one drink and zero drink that is number of people who consume no drink that is h so it will be d plus e plus f a plus b plus c plus h that will be at most two drinks at most two means maximum two drinks so maximum could be two then it could be one or it could be zero so none will al none will also be included at most one drink it means that less than equals to one maximum it could be one minimum it could be zero so at most one means we will count the people who consume one drink that is a plus b plus c and those who count who doesn't does not drink a single drink that is h none will be also be included when i say tea plus coffee plus milk it means that count all the values that are there in tea circle plus all the values in coffee circle plus all the values in milk circle so when i say tea it means that a plus d plus e plus g that is all the values in tea circle plus coffee circle will include b d g and f and milk circle will include how much e g f and c that is the meaning of plus simply add all the values that are there in each and every circle this is not conceptual thing it is just the formula where left hand side should be equal to right hand side so if you add all this what will come how many come a b and c you can see that it is coming only one time so this will be a plus b plus c twice of d plus e plus f because they will come twice and g will come thrice so this will be equals to very important formula t plus coffee plus milk will be equals to exactly one drink plus twice of exactly two drink plus thrice of exactly three drink that is the meaning of t plus coffee plus milk next is when i say not t not t means we have to count everything that is outside the circle of t that is outside the circle of t everything we have to count that will be meaning of not t or you can say that we have to exclude all the people who consume t t circle we have to remove so once you remove the t circle what you will left with this is b plus f plus c plus h that is lies outside the t circle b f c and h and that is the meaning of not t next is neither t nor coffee it means that we have to exclude both t as well as coffee so it means that everything that lies outside the circle of t and coffee we have to include so outside the circle of t and coffee this is only c plus h So C plus H are the people who are outside the circle of T as well as coffee. That is the meaning of neither T nor coffee. If I say that finally, twenty four points, not coffee. Not coffee simply means that 
anything that lies outside the circle of Kofi. So it will be equals to how much? It will be equals to everything that lies outside the Kofi circle. That is A plus E plus C plus H. That is the meaning of not Kofi. So these were the basics of three variables, Venn diagrams. I have discussed 24 types of concepts that can be asked in any of the three variables Venn diagram. Once you understood these basics, it will be very easy for you to solve every kind of question in three variable Venn diagrams. Thank you.